Thanks to the Dominion lawsuit against Fox News, we know that just a couple of years ago, Fox News, including its biggest stars, Tucker Carlson, Laura Ingram, Sean Hannity, were so terrified of Donald Trump and his followers that they knowingly spread lies around the election because they didn't want to lose their audience. Well, fast forward to today. And Fox appears to have come up with what they think is a strategy to stop that from happening in the future. They're just gonna try to make it so that Fox fans never hear what Donald Trump has to say at all. They've instituted a soft ban on Donald Trump. Don't call it a shadow ban, right wingers would get triggered. But anyway, according to a source close to Trump, everyone knows that there's this soft ban or silent ban. It's certainly However you want to say, quiet ban, soft ban, whatever it is, just just call it something, man, and move on. Anyway, um, it's indicative of how the Murdochs feel about Trump in this particular moment. An aide who spoke to the publication, Semaphore, said they heard from Fox News directly that the former president was in fact soft banned. So Trump seems to know it, Fox News knows it, and uh, that's what they're doing. The understand, according to Trump aide. Um, the understanding is that they're not to have Trump on for an interview because the Murdochs have made it pretty clear they want to move on from Trump. Fox is showing that by not having him on. So this might make you wonder, wait, yeah, it has been a while since Trump has actually been directly on Fox News, quite a while. You have to go all the way back to September in the wake of the raid on Mar-a-Lago. They had him on to talk about that. Here, This might jog your memory about what it was like when Trump was allowed on Fox News. You had said on Truth Social a number of times, you did de declassify. I did declassify, yes. Okay, well, is there a process? What was your process to declassify? It doesn't have to be a process as right. I understand it. And, you know, there's different people say different right. things, but as I understand it, there doesn't have to be. If you're the president of the United States, you can declassify just by saying um, it's declassified, even by thinking about it. I just declassified a document at my desk at home, but just by thinking about it. He does have a point though, different people do say different things. So people who know what the hell they're talking about say one thing, Donald Trump says another. So he's not wrong there, um, but anyway, it's so funny that that was his last appearance too, because that is Sean Hannity being told absolute BS from Donald Trump. He appears to know that it's BS, but he can only push back so hard because again, like in the lawsuit, he is terrified of turning off Fox viewers. The truth and accurate reflection of reality, all of that stuff, purely optional. And if it, if that would get in the way of getting red hat wearers to love him, to wanna pay him money, continue to watch him, they're gonna immediately dispense with that. The issue is that this strategy might over time take away a little bit of Donald Trump's influence if people aren't regularly hearing from him. Um, but the thing is, he is running for president now and he knows what's happening, which means that Fox which is trying to avoid Donald Trump trying to turn the MAGA world against them, has every reason now to do this. Fox has decided that they'd apparently prefer having Ron DeSantis, and we'll get to their showing off other candidates. So one have to, has to assume that this is gonna result in a major collision. Okay, so two really interesting parts of the story at a minimum. First of all, this is a war between Donald Trump and Fox News. but. The second entry, and by the way, to, here's another piece of evidence to that. There's, we've already shared so many of the internal emails and correspondence of Fox News about Donald Trump. And it turns out the owner doesn't like him, the hosts don't actually believe him, uh, and the executives don't like him. Nobody likes him, they're disgusted by him, uh, but they're also scared of him because of how much uh, control he has over the, their own audience, right? We're gonna get back to that because that's very important. But Murdoch also said that he gave a directive to quote, make Trump and non person. Okay, now that leads to the second point, which is this is what corporate media is actually great at. And you can, and the genius of this trick is that it's invisible. So this is what uh, mainstream media does with progressives it's a soft ban. They just never have us on. So that's the best way to go to war is by never presenting the other side. So now, right wing media is doing it to Trump. It's a soft ban, right? The establishment doesn't like this. By the way, right wing media and mainstream media are part of the same organization, corporate media, okay? They are each individual institutions, they're different corporations, but they're all multi billion dollar corporations and they all have the same agenda, which is lower taxes, deregulation, let us gobble up our competition, and no competition, and we get to charge more money, okay? And they, so that's why. All of the disagreements you'll see on cable news are over culture war issues and social issues. On economic issues, they agree 100%. And now Trump's bothering them, so they want to turn them into what progressives are in, in, in the establishment, non-people. 
Yeah. Okay. So that's how, by the way, you know who's soft banned? I'm soft banned from MSNBC and CNN. Fox News, I don't know about. I haven't been on there in over a decade, I assume. I'm maybe soft or hard banned there, but I don't know about that. But I know producers have told us that I'm banned from CNN and MSNBC. Why? Because you don't even have to ban me. You don't have to ban any progressive. You should never have them on, right? So, but who's now finally the interesting, the most interesting part for what's gonna happen next in this country? Who's gonna win? Uh, well, before Trump, I would have said there's nothing, there are no force in America that could beat Fox News. And I've been saying that for a long time, and the corporate media was like, oh no, you know, Fox News is fair balance. You guys are so outrageous, you progressives, saying that they're, uh, you know, uh, uh, that they don't really do news. You remember when Obama said was one thing against Fox News? It was CBS and CNN and MSNBC. Those guys all jumped in. How dare you? This is an attack on the press. They're real news. I plan to work there later for millions of dollars. How dare you? Okay. So I would, and Roger Ailes and Rupert Murdoch ran that organization brilliantly. And has affected outcomes. They pick who's going to be the Republican nominee almost every time. But now Trump has escaped velocity, and they can't rein him back in. And so every time they go to ask real Republican voters, they say Trump, 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 and they say it on Fox News too. Yeah. So this this dam's going to break. They can't contain Trump. So eventually, there's going to be a couple of people in right wing media who go, well, the money is in supporting Donald Trump because that's what the audience wants. Yep. And they're eventually, that's going to become such a powerful current, it's going to break Fox News's will to resist. And so I have Trump as the favorite over Murdoch. Oh, oh my gosh, of course. Trump should be the favorite over everybody in this Republican primary. Um, I mean, he is the Frankenstein monster that decades of right wing talk radio and right wing media has created. Um, the Republican voter has a taste of uh, the fan service that he provides for them. And that's what Fox News had been doing for decades. He's as much of a creature and the creation of right wing cable news and talk radio as any human being on earth, if not the number one creation of that. Um, and also like evangelical prosperity gospel because he's a he's a rich guy and he has like a rich person's branding. I mean, he has a gold toilet, haven't you heard? So he can do no wrong in their eyes. Rich person equals smart, successful, uh, you cannot question them. And that's uh, from decades of evangelical indoctrination, but primarily from right wing media like Fox News. Um, and so the Frankenstein monster is out uh, in the town wreaking havoc and good luck Fox with the soft ban because it's not gonna last once Trump continues to hold on to a lead in the polls in the Republican primary. Yeah. This DeSantis dude does not have it. Despite right wing media's efforts to make him seem like the reasonable moderate in comparison as he tries to ban books and have blogs register in Florida. That, and just because he went to Yale, that doesn't pass the sniff test with everybody else. That's just for you guys in Washington. It makes you feel a little bit better about backing a fascist because he has a fancy law degree that you might think is a worthy credential. Trump is the same guy, but he actually has charisma. He has the capacity to appeal to the voters that they need to win over in a primary. The problem for right wing media and the the uh, base that they have cultivated is that whoever's gonna come out of this primary is gonna have a damn tough job winning in a general election yeah. because this they've gone down the fan service rabbit hole and that's 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 how intense it is that they think DeSantis can be branded as a moderate. I've got news for you. No one, no moderate independent voter cares about like online anti-trans dialogue. That's just for you guys. And so I think Trump's by far the favorite yeah. in the in the election. Yeah, I think he's got those things that you said, but I think Primary. he also has, yeah, exactly. He's got the cruelty. He is the master of cruelty. And, and it's easy to do it to regular people, to the LGBTQ community. Every Republican can do that. Ron DeSantis can do that, but Trump will do it better because he cares even less about other people. But he can do it to other Republicans in a way, in better than any Republican. And the sad thing is that these weak Fox executives and hosts who all don't want Trump to be the nominee might be able to stop him. 
if they had a testicle between them, if they actually came out and attacked him, if they just night after night were to attack him, then maybe they'd have a chance. Maybe other Republicans in elected office in independent media, all again, many of whom hate Trump, might be able to take him down. But instead, it's all this weaselly stuff by implication. You've got Tucker Carlson saying that elderly men aren't strong enough to be president. Do you get my drift? I'm not gonna say it because I'm terrified. And instead, they're not gonna stop him. He's gonna bulldoze Ron DeSantis, maybe drive him out of American politics. And then six months from now, Tucker Carlson's gonna do a monologue about how Trump is the best thing ever, but he'll be stewing inside secretly because they're all so weak. They're too weak and cowardly to actually stop him from getting the nomination. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.